Hi everybody, this is Donnie. Welcome to my channel. As you can see, I have something a little bit different today to show you. I am working on a do-it-yourself leftovers sticker book, actually multiple books, using all of the leftover kit stickers that I have hoarded over the last few years. These are just the ones I want to keep too. I have been able to reduce the bulk of my leftover sticker kits into three traveler's notebooks, which I will show you. And I have had so much fun. Now that I've been stuck at home, uh, as we all are, uh, I decided to share this with y'all. I really enjoyed doing this. If you're interested in how I have done this and all the things that I've used, um, not only check out below in the description box, but stay tuned and watch what I've been doing. I wanted to show y'all today what I've done. Um, I was following Cassandra over at Mother with Daughter Designs. Um, she's also got a new name. Can't remember it. I will put it first thing down below. But um, I was looking at her video again today and making sure that I had all my ducks in a row, so to speak, to show y'all the leftovers book. These are all kinds of leftover weekly kits. All the stickers that I want to save, all of these I have yet to do, but this into this. That way I can get rid of a lot of bulk I literally, if I were to lay everything I've done on top of each other, at least this thick, okay, at least, in one, two, three books, sorry, had that stuck on there, and that's what they have now become. Easy to find my stickers, easy to reuse these, if you have a planner from these are from the Planner Society, all of these. Uh, if you have something that is a B6 size TN, which is a traveler's notebook, it has elastic around it and inside of it. I'll show you real quick what I did, but I'm going to refer you again to Cassandra's video, which I'll link down below. Uh, check out her video for how exactly to do the rings in place of your strings. In a TN like this. So what I've done is I've followed her directions on how to do that part. I will also list below where to find the rings on Amazon that I have used here. And let's have a look. Basically what it is, I'll use the empty one, a TN is basically a cover for an elastic filled book that you can put inserts in. The inserts you don't need for this particular thing unless you want to use them. What I'm doing is I'm just using very thin parchment paper. I have seen people say wax paper does not work. It's one-sided. Uh, I have tried wax paper before and don't like what happens with the wax paper. Don't like it at all. This is a silicon covered paper that both sides are covered with the silicon. My stickers do not have a problem either sticking or pulling off of this. Now I started this back in January because I wanted to make sure that a couple months later I'm not going to regret that I did this. And so this is what I bought. This will also be listed below from Amazon. 10 by 7 is what I chose. This particular one has 50 sheets and I bought three of these paper packs just one after another after another uh, as I started going through all of my stickers realizing I was really going to need this much. You may not need near as much as I, I did. Each of these 50 sheets I cut in half to be 5 by 7 instead of 10 by 7 and they fit perfectly inside this B7 sorry B6 where did I get the 7? 5 by 7 this B6 size notebook here's my foiled sticker leftovers these pages hold stickers front and back and you may you may not like it I'm going to 
do a little caveat here. For example, I noticed right now that the sticker is starting to come up. It just may be that it doesn't have a lot of sticky on the back. My fault, if that's the tr if that's the case, or that this particular sheet of paper I have scratched it or something, and it just is not going to stick very well. It's also a very recent one that I did, and so it may not actually be sticking by being pressed together in the book. This was one of the last pages I did actually. Um, as you'll see, I'll show you on this particular one. I snip my holes so that I can push things in and out of my rings easily without opening the rings. And I have miscut some of my papers. My bad. Mispunched some of my papers and had to redo them because I forgot to set. I sure do hope I didn't mess up here. Okay. I did it right. I forgot to check the holes before I punched things and I'm bad about that. So I ended up doing an A5 on this one it accidentally when I needed it to be set to the, um, is that the personal size in there? B6 is what I wrote on my own. If you're interested in this particular punch, I have done a video about this one and how I use a template with it to cut punch my A5 size papers and my B6 size papers. Just real quick, and just wanted to throw that in there because that's what I use. The second setting is what this is set on for my size B6. So if that helps you, well, I hope it helps you if you have something like this. Because all of this is in like a different language, I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't know what what's what, so I did test punches to make sure. But as you can see, I, I have some extra holes in here I needed to cover up. Well, this kind of paper is about $10 a box or a uh, envelope. I guess that's an envelope it came in. Um, it's approximately $10 for 50 sheets. And I was not going to waste it just because I punched it wrong. So I took extra strips of sticker paper that I have a thousand sheets of extra stuff in the trash all the time. Just took strips, set them kind of over my bad holes, and repunched them front and back because it'll be sticky inside the old holes. So just in case you happen to do like that and needed a fix real quick, that's that's kind of how I fixed it. But basically, the, the book, the book itself. This is exciting to me because, like I said, I have tons of leftover stickers. This is from Print Petticoat Bandit, for example. I'm probably going to pull each and every one of these, maybe not those little tiny dots, but all the stuff that I think I'm going to use in the future, I'm going to keep. I've already pulled all the foiled pieces out and have all kinds of goodies in this little leftover book. Now, when Cassandra did her books, I was like, you are kidding me, I have to do this. I have way too many piles of used sticker kits that I need to save. Uh, and instead of going through one kit at a time looking for, well, I need a, a pink foiled full box. Instead of doing something like go through 80 kits that I've already used, I can now flip through just a few pages. I need a foiled pink full box. There it is. I can figure out what I have real easily from here. Now, today I just finished this little project. I'm putting dividers in. I looked to see what Cassandra did and loved her idea because she put dividers in hers and then labeled what each of the sections was going to be. Now, I am still looking for, uh, I have some leftover planner society kits and tons of those little tabs that you can stick on the sides or do I want it at the top you know what do I want and she made the um she made sure that we were aware that because of this being a b6 size and the size of the paper that when you close it if you happen to put tabs to the side they will stick out so as I was printing these pieces out today, I kind of wondered if maybe I'll actually put them at the top instead of on the side. 
I'm not sure the side would bother me, but I think what would happen is the way I store things sitting upright like this against another uh, on my top of my last cog carts. Uh, I have another one sitting this direction, and I'm afraid that if I do this, that they may mess you know those up. So this particular one will definitely stick out. And this particular one doesn't look so bad. So I may actually be able to get away with it in here. Her book is really, really thick. She used a similar cover to do hers. And hers, I kid you not, is probably this big. My rings with this type of paper is not holding um, that thick of a group of stickers the pages it's coming out sometimes at the front and back and so i think what i'm ultimately going to have to do is like this is an a5 um page lifter is maybe just make me some page lifters for the front and back so that i'll be able to keep those from getting damaged in all these little holes areas as i go back and forth so you may not like this and please don't just go out and start buying stuff because you think it might work. Think about it before you invest in it because I did a lot of thinking before I did this. I knew I had to save my stickers that I thought I might use. And I'm so glad I did. If you see little holes in any of the things, I've only just now kind of finished it up. But it's where I have either got space left or I've already come through space left or I've already come through and picked a couple of stickers or a sticker or two out so there's some foiled stickers right there those don't go there so I'll take those out and put them in the other book but as you can see I still have a ways to go I uh, if I have a kit for example this particular kit pieces I have a lot of this particular kit. I use digitals. Y'all, this is all digital kits, not bought kits. These are bought for a digital, downloaded to my computer from an Etsy store, printed out as many times as I want. I did this one three times and have used it three times. And so I have all the leftover stickers that go with that kit in here. Uh, I tried to keep them kind of together. Um, especially the decoration ones because if I'm going to come back and pick a sticker to use for example my uh, print pressure weeks this will be extremely handy I can come and pick a full box some decorative some uh, headers whatever I need and do a spread basically with all leftovers same thing with this particular kit I'm gonna ask you not to request that I tell you where all of these stickers are from ever because I'll never be able to tell you but what I'm going to do is look back on my Etsy shopping for the last couple of years at all of my sticker kits that I have bought and I'm going to put each of their Etsy shops if they're still open down in a, a future video I might actually just put that yeah, it'll have to be at the bottom of a video, I think, in the future. And I will list all of my digital shops that I purchased from. Uh, so far, I keep finding new ones. And now that we are kind of stuck in our homes for the next foreseeable future, I will probably locate a few more. So, again, you may not like the style. You may not like this paper. As you can see, this paper, I just dumped my stickers. I don't know where they went that were on my finger. I felt them leave my finger, but I don't know what I touched. Anyhow, uh, this paper, I'll put a sticker on here just so you can kind of see. I'll pull a box off of here. Good removable uh, sticker paper from a store I'll list below because now I can't think of what it was. But this is removable sticker paper. I don't mind that it looks like it's going to come off real easy because as I've had these in here for the last few months, like this is one of the first pages that I've made that I did. As you can see, they're not coming off. They've been pressed in here for a number of weeks now and I'm not having a problem with them just coming off. So ultimately I think my gamble, uh, I was a winner on the gamble. 
So right at first, they may be a little easy to come off. And fiddling with the papers as you're loading them is kind of tricky. So that, I mean, I always had stuff stuck to me and I had to re-put them um, a little bit. But once they stayed in the book for a little while, they stayed. So that was exciting. I enjoyed the process because this was a, a project I could actually do upstairs. Uh, I'm in the basement at the moment in my craft room. Uh, my craft room doesn't let me watch TV while I'm working on a project over here because the TV's back behind me. But um, with all the news and all the stuff that we've been doing, we've been doing like kind of Netflix binge watching as many of you are doing. And so this is one of those almost mindless projects that you can do in front of the TV. And as long as you're able to kind of get your supplies, the rings, the notebook, and the paper. I just used the piece of paper I had out. But the paper, again, silicone covered. It works. It works. Now, let me say here as well. Cassandra has used another type of paper. I chose not to use that particular one because I wanted I wanted to be able to not spend as much money on this particular project. Um, if I were only doing a few stickers, I would probably use that other paper. So please check out her video and go and hit her Amazon uh, for her paper for that particular style you may want to definitely check out i know for sure you need to definitely check out her video and see how she has done the project all i'm doing is just showing you my almost finished project again here's the second book with all of the other types of labels and stickers that i've put in here it holds a lot i have room for more i have had so much fun doing this my husband is going crazy because he knows when i pull out this little bitty table to sit in front of my recliner and sit there and and put stickers down that he better not say anything because i'm having fun if you're interested in this project if you have any ideas that i might do to make this a little easier um to share with others or me let me know down below uh, I ask that you be nice, be kind, <laughs> because it, again, it's just one of those kind of projects that, um, it was fun to do. I am pleased with the results that I had, and now I'm going to be able to pretty easily now keep up with all of my leftovers and, and keep the pieces that I want. So, Again, if you have questions, leave those below, too. Uh, these are just some, a download from some shop. I will, I'll, I'll try to remember to put where I found this. It's a digital uh, download from Etsy. So all I did is just two to a page, print them out, cut them to make dividers. So anyway, this is what I've been doing for the last couple of months. I hope you all are staying safe, happy, healthy. Take care of yourselves, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.